supporting me I would literally not be here right now it just means a lot because for me my parents come to every single game and for them to kind of see us in a different light where there's no like game going on and there's no like outside factors it's just us dancing and it's just time for them to meet other families and meet other people is really special my whole first year was really life-changing um, having my family here means so much to me um, I was so happy, overjoyed, and just being able to share that with everybody else. So it was amazing. This was the first time that my grandmother and my best friends from back home got to see me. And immediately after, my granny was in tears. I mean, she was like, you look so happy. Um, she was like, I just couldn't be prouder of you to see you doing what you have wanted to do your entire life. We don't get the chance to, to come out and lose from a standpoint of performing. And every single game, this team won. So um, I think from an overall, they had a really good year. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I kind of went in with no like real expectation from the last year. So last year you talked about you were gonna be retiring. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Lucky number seven. So I can just feel that like it's about time. Um, and I keep saying like lucky number seven is the one. I say it is, it feels like it is, but I guess we'll just have to see in, at the end of the season. I'm finishing my seventh year right now, today, <laughs> officially. Even if you know that it's your last year, um, it doesn't make it any easier. Game day is fantastic, appearances are cool, uniform is great, but when I leave here, it's the way they've touched my life that will stay with me much, much longer. Go! Camp Top Cat. We're going back. Camp Top Cat is always fun. Let's get it. We had a hot tub, so that was good. But Chandelier is full of surprises, so we play games. We have field day. I call them the Hunger Games. But we play the Hunger Games, and then certain people will make dinner, certain people will make lunch. So like we get time to bond and everything. And then at the end of the night on Saturday, we sit and we talk about awards. Awards always make everybody cry. I'm sure there's a footage of me crying at retreat. Ooh. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. The Nine Lives Award is the award that the team votes to go to one of our teammates that we feel like, aside from everything else that has taken place in their life, we feel like they have always shown up for the team. So to know everything that I was going through, I was still able to show up for my team and they acknowledged and could see that I was still showing up for them and I didn't feel like I was, just reminded me that I'm doing my job. So to have gotten that award, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. I'm, I'm just so grateful and appreciative to my teammates. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome to Returning Uniforms. Wait till halter number. Don't tell Shonda Lynn, I spilled water on this before what? we got here. Mm -hmm. The 2022 Top Cats are returning uniforms tonight. So they've had them for the whole season, they're all theirs. Um, and now they have to earn them back if they want them back. What is your jersey top? It's mixed feelings for me because I don't like to give them back. I want to keep them. <laughs> Morgan doesn't know if she's retiring or not. No, I do. She said she's not. You're not? Yay! You got a job? Like a big job? Yay! Yeah, uniform return is always mixed feelings, especially because that's usually the time where people who are retiring, if we don't know at that point, that's usually when we'll find out. Surreal. It's been uh, many years in the making, so I don't know. It's kind of kind of crazy taking them out of my closet this morning. I was like, wow, it's the last time they'll be in that closet. I went back and forth for a long time um, 
I prayed and prayed and prayed about it. And, you know, I have a four-year-old daughter, and so she started dance competition season this year. And so I just think it's really important that I'm able to be at all her stuff and support her. You know, I had my time to shine, and now it's hers. With anything you love, like, it's, it's hard to walk away, and it's hard when people aren't telling you to leave. Um, but you kind of have to make that decision for yourself. It's been definitely like the greatest years of my adult life. Um, so like walking out the house with them for the last time and bringing them here and knowing that I'm never going to put them back on is really emotional but um, I'm glad that there'll be new people coming in that get to experience it so I'm happy about that. My very first game my rookie year doing the player tunnel just like first time on the field seeing all the fans, the smoke, the players, the music, just like trying to soak it all in. That's like my, it just sticks in my head. You are all set. It changed my life, so I'm glad I auditioned. I'm hoping it's the same thing next year, right? Like it's just, it's a new team and you'll remember that team for like what that team is and what they're about. I don't want a team of all the same people. Um, I mean, you hear all the time, like, you should have a million seats at the table, right? But to be a good team, you have to have so many different people at the table. I'm not looking to replace the personalities that are retiring in any shape or form. Hi, my name is Alicia Boren. I'm 26, and I'm from Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Growing up, I did ballet, piano, and gymnastics. What did it feel like to go to the national championship and win? Man, it was really indescribable, honestly. When it was time to walk out on the floor, I really just like took a deep breath and took in everything and went out there and I really just did gymnastics. It has been so fun to watch all season long. Look at a huge double layout. I know like a lot of my career, I, I thought really, really hard about what I was doing at all times and I kind of just like had so much fun through the whole entire routine. Stepping off the floor was, it was super emotional and I was sad and happy and all these things, but I really just like was grateful for gymnastics, but the feeling was magical, I guess you could say. Hey guys, I am Amanda Carter. I'm 31 years old. I am super pumped to be auditioning for the Top Cats again. Why Top Cats? Okay, so that's a great question. I auditioned before in 2015. And I went into it because I love to dance. By the end of that audition, it was not about dance anymore. It was about the community, the people, the good vibe that I felt when I was there. That's why I'm going back, for sure. The girls have gotten together, we rehearsed, and we've just gave it our best shot today. When you didn't make it in 2015, how did that hit you? It was hard because once you make it to finals, you feel like you're already in. It's a lot. <laughs> Not making it's a lot. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cameron Carnes, and I'm super excited to be auditioning for the 2023 Carolina Panthers Top Cats. When I found out I didn't make the team, it was one of the hardest moments of my life. Um, and I, I don't think it would have been that way if I hadn't prepared so hard. I did adjust my life. I did turn away from physical therapy school and I was already ready to leave my job that I was currently at because it wouldn't have worked and it was just kind of you know everything that I was already knowing I kind of needed to do and Top Cats was my push um, but it's like uh oh the thing that I that pushed me wasn't what I can fall back on but now I have that chip on my shoulder kind of in the best way of I have unfinished business I gotta go back and I gotta get my place. I want you to make a hole in the floor, okay? Squat down so hard and slam with all that power with a nice tight core. I was like, all right, I didn't make it this year. Training starts tomorrow. The no's are never a no. It's just a not now. There was never an option of not trying out again. Come on, Ash. I see you, girl. I think it kind of added a layer not making it. To put yourself out there on anything, right? Like applying for any job. Um, if you want it bad enough, it is going to take courage. It does put that little fire under you. It makes you want that so much more. And so it does, it feels like unfinished business, but it's also me chasing the opportunities to live the life that I do still dream about. I think it depends on how bad you want it based on how much courage it actually takes from you. To not give up and to come back shows that you wanted, it shows that you are determined. I think it's more like in here that's changed for me. 
waited a little bit before trying again because I have a husband. You want to go with him? Two children. You want me, Daddy? <laughs> nope. <laughs> and I own a dance studio and a gym. Lift your chin just a little bit. You know, you forgot to tell me what you learned at school today. Yes! <laughs> now I'm a nanny. I started nannying full time wow! so that I could dance more and work out and just prioritize that because I was ready to take a step back from the gym and do something else that I loved and start a new journey. Between the two auditions, I think I've grown more as a person. When I was 22, 23, I was going into the audition because I love to dance, and that was pretty much it. And now I'm going into it because I want to feel a part of something with all of the other people, and I want to be a part of the community and help and be a role model in that way. That's part of why I'm really excited to, you know, enter this process. I love being part of a team and, you know, doing something for more than just myself. However, it does come with more, you know, pressure and intensity. Top cats to the left. If I can make someone else smile or happy because of what I'm doing, I've done my job and I want to keep doing it. This is throwback to last year. Perfect timing. I'm hoping that they're a little bit uneasy and anxious. You ready? Sure. <laughs> We're here, we made it. Don't be stressed. If somebody walks in and they're not nervous, then baby, you don't want it bad enough. There's a lot of people, but that's more friends, right? Hi, how are you doing? Everybody's coming from different places in their lives, and everybody is coming from different parts of the country. Everybody is uncomfortable. Including you? I want to throw up. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. You excited? Yes! I don't know, somebody asked me the other day whether or not I was like, excited for auditions. Um, and I think right now in my head, it's logistics, right? It's okay, do I have my speaker? Do I have everything set up? Is all of my staff gonna be here? Do they know what they need to do? Is the auditorium set up? Do we have all the banners hung? Do I have all of the refreshments in line for the judges and their gifts? Like, I'm still in that world. Um, but I think tonight, when I get to turn the music on and we get to start stretching, I'll be able to refocus and recenter um, just in this space until we're done dancing, and then I'll focus back on logistics. But right now, um, yeah, right now I'm a little nervous. It's like, what if I forgot something? <laughs> um, like the routine, for example, um, which might happen. Some of the routines this past season were a little challenging, so I do expect more tests. Forty-two. All veterans have to re-audition, right? You are not guaranteed a spot year to year. It is not your spot until you claim it as your spot. This really allows us to keep the playing field level. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. I I'm excited. I wanna see what she has planned for us, like with the dances. Me too. Tonight's routine is definitely gonna push a lot of people and I'm really excited about that, myself included. Yeah, I just expect a lot of surprises. <laughs> You're back. So I lied. If you're watching this, I did lie. I thought I was done, but here I am again. Still very sore, still very old, but still having fun. Yeah! <laughs> Miss Thomas! The colors with the skin, with the hair! Let's wear! Let's wear! Period! You are so funny. I told you. Yeah, this is funny. Both y'all came in as new people. I was thinking about it and Shondale told us, I think it was the last game, she was like, if you don't feel like you're ready to stop, then you're not. And I was like, I'm not. <laughs> That's as simple as it is. I already saw a bunch of people that I haven't seen yet in a year, um, which is really exciting. And a lot of new friends who haven't been to auditions yet and this is their first time. Hi, hey, how are you? Good. This is actually my second year trying out. Amber. Last year, fortunately, I did not make it past the prelims, but this year I did. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm excited, definitely nervous, but we're here. We're ready to go. Hi, Mom. Hi, it was you have amazing. So, Chandelay so, is mm -hmm. coach, she is mom, um, <laughs> mentor. Yeah, there are so many titles for her. She juggles so many different things. She's really taken the program to new heights. And just her mentality of, I don't know, she's just like a free spirit. And I admire that. I mean, she's all about being yourself. She's about progress over perfection. And that, that's great. Like, I want to be a part of that. I want to learn from her. She is so fun. She's just, 
I feel like when I met her, it's like, all right, we're gonna get along. I wanna be your friend. It was that kind of energy. And I think that's what it needs to be when you're gonna be on a team like that or be with a coach like that. Stop right now. Thank you very much. I need Oh my goodness, we're here. <laughs> we made it. We're here. We like real yet. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Pull out All right. We are here. It's go time. Not everybody made it here, so give yourself a round of applause for making it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, both in the semi-finalist sense and also like through the door sense, because a lot of people get nervous right before and they're like, ah, that no. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you guys in order, okay? Um, well, actually, congratulations. Sorry. <laughs> I, skipped, I skipped a pretty, pretty big step. Um, I do wanna remind you before you get started because you will absolutely get in your head while you're here because, oh my God, look at you. You're all very talented. And you will find out how talented each and every single one of you are in just a little bit, right? Um, but please get out of your head. You are here because you are supposed to be here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, all right. If you will do me a favor and look to the person to your right, then to your left, and then the person behind you and introduce yourself. Go. Oh, we can't do all of that at the same time. Hi. Lauren. Lauren, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Amanda. Um, because you guys are nervous, you're probably kind of nauseous, um, so am I. Um, and we just need to get, we just gotta get that shit out, all right? It's time to S-T-R-U-T, shut for me. Let me see what you got. Give it to me, baby. and I almost broke my hip. There's a lot of really good talent here. There's so it's many so talented. Fun. It is. It's like it's like inspirational yeah. and humbling and all the things humbling like for sure. Yeah. But yeah, you're doing great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And listen, I don't know how I would do it without like having you guys. Semifinals is hard. Like they're difficult routines for a reason um, because the challenge is gonna get harder and harder throughout the season because you're gonna be learning routines the week of a game. All right, so you're here. Um, you, the words are, you'll have, you hold. You gotta fight and then there's like a boom and that's when you hit it to the front. And I need you to sell that shit, all right? I need you to look into my when your ass turns around, okay? I need you to just lay it out, all right? That's what I need. I need to be like All right, here it comes. Instead of a Broadway routine, we're gonna do a very strict palm routine. Three. So we're gonna have a routine that's a little bit more upbeat. 
genuinely more my style and then I'm gonna dig it out of me and do <laughs> do a palm routine because I noticed that was like where we struggled the most in the season of like when I would challenge them with something a little bit more stiff I could do it so I'm like okay we'll, we'll start now and that's not even the end Woo! oh my god that's good. good go get some water good job oh lordy doing a double is gonna be interesting doing a calypso is gonna be interesting dude they got revolving slits coming up they're gonna hate me how you doing? I'm good. I just need to get this timing. It's yeah. stressing me out. Yeah, it's really fast. Okay, I told you that I thought they were gonna be challenged. Um, safe to say they are. I want to kind of start it in their brains right now to finish the movement. Pop, pop, pop! I think it'll help them tomorrow when things get a little bit more saucy, a little more stylized. They need to get it on their body tonight, so when they go home, they're practicing it the right way. So, we'll see how it goes, man. More practice. And this is what separates the 150 to the 60. No. Repeat after me. I'ma give it my best. 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 You will go down to your stomach, down, up. Yes. Oh! I haven't done these in like 15 years, but I love these. These are back from my day. I can do this. Okay. It's the bad side, right. we can do this. But you only have to do two per A count, all right? It is not fast at all. Yeah, this split has me stressed, Lucky. If you're not challenged, you're not growing. All right, here we go. She ain't wrong. You're down. Gotta get seven, started. eight. You roll. One, two, three. Head quick. Five, oh. six around. Seven, eight. We're missing one. one. We have one so more. I just remember maybe like four or five individuals surrounding me and was able to pick me up. Ready? Ready? You got it. There you go. I was just like living the dream and it just having a good time. And then when the injury happened, I just felt like everything was over for me. Thank you.